carried away for a second but anyway um welcome to my channel uh if you are new here today um welcome you are definitely welcome uh i hope you like what you see and you join the family you subscribe and click on the notifications bell so you don't miss an episode every time i upload and to my return soldiers i see you guys i see you and I appreciate you. Okay, thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. And so, yeah, as you can see by the title of the video, we are talking about opera. <sighs> Sorry, guys. <laughs> I will link my professional YouTube channel <laughs> on my in my description box. So you can check it out if you want to, you know. So you can check it out no problem so we are talking about uh opera we are looking at like my journey and how it's been for the past 10 years as a student as a young opera singer and yeah man we're just gonna talk about that and also we're gonna answer the question why opera i get that a lot and i will answer that before we even go far why opera so I don't know if you watched my pre my previous video, um, but I do touch on it. Um, I was introduced to opera by a group of guys that were studying opera at the time, and I was still in high school. Uh, I fell in love with it as soon as I heard it. I wanted to sing it. Probably did not how did not know how to sing it properly because I did not have any training. But I fell in love with it. I fell in love with the fact that you can tell a story with your voice can tell a story um and the fact that you can get into a role get into someone's life and tell their story i think that is amazing with your voice with music i mean i've always loved music and then it just encapsulated everything and i was just like i man this is it <laughs> just like man mm -mm, this is it and so i fell in love the fact that you can sing you can act there it just combines everything there's just dancing it's a lot you know so i fell in love with that and and it's just been amazing it's been beautiful and also the fact that you can touch people with your voice you can touch people's hearts people's souls make people cry i've made people cry a few times and every time i'm just like don't cry sorry i'm off i'm off ramping but like yeah there was a time where i got distracted and i was just like she's crying but like carry on but like carry carry on yeah anyway but it's it's really amazing and you know you it's you you fall in love with the fact that you can do amazing things with your voice and you learn that you don't always get it at the beginning obviously I don't know. I, maybe there are people that just constantly get get it, but you learn it, and you know, it's a process. So we're talking about that, and so my story is as follows. I started with my music, um, you know, career with my opera career at Swan University of Technology. I started with my first year. I started from zero. Did not have much experience singing opera. Uh, did not have much experience with the music. I knew a few things just, you know, from hearing people sing them. The guys, they were mostly like tenor guys. Yeah, they say they sang tenor. And so there were tenors. And so, I mean, I did not know much. And so I got like an amazing man that I worked with on my voice um he was my voice teacher and he really became a father to me he he did he, he became a you know there were so many times where i just was like you know what i'm not feeling this it's not going well uh, i'm not gonna do well just before like an audition or like uh, an exam and he'd be like you know what let's just do affirmations just follow just repeat what i'm saying you are gonna i'm gonna be great and i'd repeat bro like i'm gonna be great uh you're gonna be you 
you know everything's gonna go well everything's gonna go well and he would pray for me and you know i could just tell him anything i think that was amazing he was very supportive and yeah man i met amazing people also there amazing friends that i still hold very close to my heart so yeah the journey was it started off they got taking it was tricky at first to not get much but you know something when you know when you do something you keep doing it you keep doing you are bound to you know understand it or you know get up get a better understanding of it so i kept going i kept going um at first we did not know much like i said and so after like two three years i started to see things clearly i started to just get like an idea about my voice you know get an idea of how it's supposed to sound i mean it was not perfect but we saw that okay all right we can hear a bit not even in the first year second year maybe second year <laughs> going to the third year that's when we were like okay there's something here let's 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 go let's go deeper let's go deeper and so it was it was amazing man i sang a few roles at Sony University of Technology uh, in the school production uh, there. So I did, the first one was um, Faust in Charles Gounod's uh, opera, which is French, Faust. I did the role of Marguerite. It was very big, daunting, do not want to lie. It was my first opera and I was just like, but anyway, it went well, man. Really, it went well. It was my first one. So, you know, just getting to learn music, learn the language, and, and, and. It was just a lot. But like I said, we were learning, and it, it's it's a process. At first, it was take taking but now I know better. I know what to do, what to start with, and, and, and. So, cool. The second opera we then did uh, was... Cenerentola. So this is like the Italian opera <laughs> Cinderella. Okay, it is literally Cinderella. And that was in Italian, like I just said, and I sang the, the role of the step of the no of the of the thingy of the evil sister. Yes. And it was amazing. I sang Clorinda and then the next year we did La like, Foul stuff. And I was the mom. I was a liche. And those were like the first few operas that I did in my 10 years. Okay. And so uh, I learned a lot. We did a lot. And yeah, man, I'm, I'm grateful. I'm grateful that I had that, you know. And I'm grateful that I started there because it was a good place to start. It was good because it... It allowed for people that did not know much, like even in like t in terms of music theory, it it you know it accommodated us. I did not know any music theory, so it accommodated us. We started from zero, you know zero, yes. And I really I appreciated that. And so in the next year, I decided to then move to to move to Cape Town, where I did my honors degree. Um, also there I met amazing people. I worked with an amazing teacher. He was also kind of like a dad to me And so I didn't spend a lot of time there in Cape Town. I spent like a year and a half I was doing my honors also had like an amazing supervisor Thank you for the support and the help. Oh man. Yes, and so yeah, man also in Cape Town. I did not do much I did not do much really I were at the school because we were supposed to do an opera, the magic flute by Mozart. But like, I remember there were like strikes happening at like South African universities. So they canceled everything. And so the next year, no, just that year, I did like an opera with like uh, Cape Town Opera and we did Lord Feo by Monteverdi. It's an, it's a Baroque opera and i sang the like la musica lady of the music <laughs> and that was also chilled it was nice to actually sing in an opera theater like actual one with like an orchestra and 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 i loved that i loved the experience also learned a lot and then in my last year at cape town i got a, the opportunity to go to france and go sing uh, at Opera de Lille in, in France, in Lille. And there we, I was part of a group of singers that sang the chorus of Così Fantute, and that is 
like uh that is an opera by mozart so we sang the chorus we sang the choir not the solos and so yeah man it that was chilled and then after that i was like okay what are we doing and then decided to come and study my masters in Mannheim at the music Hochschule, at the music at the music school there. Here I met. And so how has it been here? At first, like I said, it was daunting. Uh like I said in my previous uh video. Uh, musically the journey, it started off okay. I kinda knew where I was, but not totally. Like vocally, not totally. You know, it was not like now I'm like, I know. That's why I'm still in school. I'm still studying. You know, I don't know. No one ever says I'm a hundred percent. I don't need lessons anymore. Even like the big stars still take lessons. That's, that's, the, that's, 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 this profession is like that. So cool. Yeah. At first I was like, okay, I kind of knew the way my voice is. And, and, and so I started like also just doing competitions even before I'd apply, but most of them would just like not, you know, be successful. Cool, no problem. When I got here, I was happy. I did a competition in Hexheim, which was, which I got like the second position for that, which was cool. It was just nice. And so I did a few things also outside of school. Uh, to name a few, um, I did, I sang at a rugby match which was fun i sang like the national anthem for samoa wow and uh, that was for like uh it was in the in the qualifying matches you know so it was in one of the qualifying match um in heidelberg for rugby and so that was chilled i also did some work at uh Pfalzbau theater uh you know just in the f like in the first year when I got here, second year also, um, you know, second year I went to China for like an international artist, young artist program, which was amazing. I will have a video about that. I will have because that one deserves a whole video. Like the experience there was amazing, but I'd like to tell it and go into detail. Yeah, <laughs> I'm going to detail. So. Um, yeah, man. And last year I was able, I got an opportunity to go to Croatia to go sing, uh, in, in an opera to make, you know, be part of an opera there, which was called Janice Kiki by Puccini. So I do, I've, I've done a few things recently in the past few months. I won an atelier, in a, in a competition called Atelier, Atelier d'Excellence. And I got the first place there, yay! Also won a competition in Romania. Uh, I am supposed to be doing a few concerts there, like a concert there, but Corona, Corona, so it's not happening for now. And there were other things that have happened as well, but those were kind of my little achievements. Some were little, some were big. I, you know, I'm happy about them and that's just what I've done so far. Also recently did like an opera here at school called Dido and Aeneas. It's in English. Um, it's a Baroque opera as well. And I played the main role, Dido. And I have other pro projects that are, will be coming soon. I'm excited. I'm learning music right now. And I'm just really excited. So that's just a few things that I've done, you know, just that I can mention. That's just how it's been. Um, has it been, has, I'm happy with where I am. Just, you know what? This life thing, we don't have it all figured out. Some people, I'd like to say some people are above me. Some people have done way more than what I've just said. Some people have done less, uh, a little, you know, below me or whatever. But this is not that video. We're not about that. People have their own journeys, their own time, and their own race. I have mine and it is what it is, you know. This is where I am. This is what I've achieved. Some people would say you could have achieved more, but you know what? That's that's on them, you know. And some people, you know, I'm not gonna also look at other people below me and be like, oh no, I'm better than her because uh -huh. I'm in Germany. Uh huh. No, 
No, and I'm also not going to look at someone who's over me and be like, compare myself. Oh, no, she got that. Oh, she got that job. I also applied for that. No, you know, got the repopa differently, guys. Repopa different times, you know. Some people will get the job before you, you know. It's just their times, different times. So, yeah, that's just how it's been for me. That's my journey. Not shading anyone. It's not even about that. But that's just how it's been. It's been great. It has not always been great. Um, mental mental health-wise not has not always been great. And I'd like to maybe look at that. Not even maybe. I will look at that like later and just, you know, talk about the fact that you have to deal with a lot. When you're a singer, when you put yourself out there constantly, you will deal with like a lot of backlash, a lot of criticism, rejection, a lot of things. Also for yourself also, you just self-doubt, uh, self-criticism. It's just a lot of things that, you know, play and just, you know, happen in your head. You know, there's so many things and I, I feel like people don't talk about them or maybe they do go through them. They just don't want to talk about it. I don't know. I don't know. Or maybe it, they don't happen in their lives. I have no idea, but those things really do happen. And I don't want to lie and, be, and say the past 10 years have always been like, yay, amazing. No, no, no. <laughs> It's not like that. We all know life is not like that, guys. So, yeah, man, that's just how it has been for me. I'm excited about what's coming next. And I will keep you guys posted. And it's been amazing. I'm happy with what I have done and where I am. And I hope it stays this way. You know, guys, life is not always changes as well so yeah man uh that's how it's been that's where i have been and you you guys know about my singing teacher also in germany you know the amazing lady she's supportive she's amazing so yeah that's where i am that's who i've worked with that's what i've done so yeah that's it and like i said i will link my profession link my professional youtube channel down below for you guys to check it out if you want to thank you thank you thank you guys for watching i love you guys and yeah i'll see you guys on the next one thank you please subscribe if you haven't and the notification the notification yeah well, so we are perhaps we are perhaps so yeah guys i love you guys yeah Bye. Bye.